Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. Uh... What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Uh -huh. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will you be do if have she stays a, with you. You have I a promise. point, but... That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? Let me think about it. You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. Like... You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far. And they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Thank you. Need to talk us over with Clem, you know. Excuse me. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. <laughs> sure. You should come with us. Why not? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Okay then. You sure about this? There's I'm room, sure. I guess. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Ah, I see. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Okay. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And then you steal the fucking thing and stab her in the back. Ha <laughs> ha! Food for everybody. I mean, what? And you be sure to take care of that little girl. Yes. You know she thinks the world of you. I do. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Okay, so that's one spot uh, on the boat. <laughs> Sorry for ruining the moment here. Kenny's working on the boat. Yep. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot. Well, he's been through a lot, Clem. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? <laughs> Let it go now. There may not be time. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't I think we'll have time. Yeah, I prefer to be honest at least. Longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ourselves a rest. God knows we fucking earned it by now. <laughs> Jesus. And guess what? It's not done yet. Why oh, do you think they would fade out? <laughs> Clementine. What, she went outside again? Clementine? Hello? I have control now. Or not. I wanna 
can walk around. Give me control. I know you wanna. I know it's a scary thing. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, oh shit. Are you under here? Uh, okay, it's just that, okay. There's monsters nearby! I know that sound! Wait, wrong game franchise. Sorry. Every time I hear that fucking white noise, I keep thinking of Silent Hill. Like, like, fuck. Pick up the walkie talkie. Hello? Holy shit, Meg! Fuck you two! Ah, oh, shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Yeah, the, um, um, yeah. I, 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 I got kind of. What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Indeed. Okay. What do you need from us? I need help. Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. Yes, I will! All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Thank you. That's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Like, Clementine is my family. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. Yes! What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, if you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Uh, that's actually a good point, but... Kenny. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it, how about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine stood up for you, dude. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow. Gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. Yes. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Yeah, but they didn't have a fucking battery full to have it full of fucking gasoline. Geniuses. Sorry. I'll, okay, I'll stop saying geniuses from now on, okay. Although that's not a promise though. 
Don't go have myself some words with this Vernon block. Bang, 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 bang! Oh, I never get to bang. Well, I did in this. Yeah, I did. A couple of times. Oh, well. Where the hell are they? Not here. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Apparently they're not here. Hmm. That actually sounds like a mob outside. Well, shit. I'd say we're a tough shit. Nah. Um, someone should actually block the door and. Uh, oh, clap! Are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch! Who is this? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Eat me, ex asshole. That's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. I'll rip your heart out through your ass. And that's a promise. See how we did. The boy in the attic, did you kill the little boy? Yes. Hippo hippocrat hippo that. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? I were rational and honest and stuff. Home alone, did you bring Clementine with you? Yes. For whom the belt holds? Did you let Ben fall to his death? No. The bite revealed. Did you reveal your bite? Yes. And see. This is like, out of the one that I've played so far, this is probably the favorite one, just because it's... Uh, it, well, how should I put it? Just because of that little uh, Crawford bit. I think it's a really neat, neat part, especially like that last bit, where it's like, sort of like the panicky part, like, okay, we gotta go, okay, shoot, and then you get stuck, and you're like, oh my god, I'm stuck with the foot, and then you shoot people with shotguns, and then, and then some dude almost get bit, and you shoot if him in face with shotgun. It's a nice shotgun, so... I always get happy when I get to use a shotgun in the game. Come on, it's the man's best friend. Better than a dog, actually. It protects you way better, too. I mean, you don't have to aim a dog, but you know what I mean. Anyway, this was uh, four, part four? No, episode four of Let's Play uh, The Walking Dead, the Telltale version. And the uh, next one is gonna be the last one. Yeah, we're almost done, sadly. I kinda wanna keep going. Oh, oh well. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go compile all this into a neat little file, or several neat little files, I should say, and then I'll upload them in a leisurely time, and I'll see you people later. So that's gonna be it for me, and I'm out.